If you caught your boyfriends or your girlfriends being overly friendly with one of your friends, would you get mad and consider that flirting? Would you think that they are no longer truly loyal to you? Well, today we were helping Katie test her boyfriend's loyalty for this very reason. We'll just call him AJ. All right, so it's just really the boxes in the living room. Thank you so much again for doing this. Yeah. You see, a couple nights ago, Katie had a small party at her apartment. There were friends, there was music, and of course there was drinks. Everything was going good, but at around 2 a.m., Katie apparently caught her boyfriend flirting with her best friend, Amanda. He was getting very up close and personal with her, touching her, and like it just felt very much like a flirtatious energy and not just like he was trying to get to know her. So you don't think he was just being friendly? It was directly flirting. Like he was getting very close to her and it made even Amanda feel very uncomfortable. She literally was like trying her best to give him like one word answers and like try and rejoin the party and hang out with us. Did you end up talking to him about it? I mentioned it to him that like he was showing Amanda a lot of attention and he just brushed it off and was like, I was just being friendly. It felt almost like he was dodging the question and then we just like never spoke about it again. But was AJ really flirting with Amanda or was it all just a big misunderstanding? Today, we were gonna get to the bottom of it by utilizing some boxes full of our stuff, a U-Haul van, some drinks, and a hotel room. I think it's just these. And then there's a few boxes in here and chairs and like this black table and stuff. I don't know where his mind is at. Okay. And like, if he's flirting with my best friend, then like maybe he's not actually into me as much as I am into him. And then this one we're leaving and then that table. Yeah. So it should be pretty quick, easy. If given the time and the opportunity, would AJ cheat on Katie by hooking up with her best friend or would he remain loyal? Today, we're gonna find out by placing him to this test. Yeah, this is like, I think just like my sheets and stuff. So without a further ado, here was the plan that we came up with. After living at our apartment complex for almost two years, it was finally time for us to move out. We moved all the big furniture that we had already, but we left some stuff there in order to film this last and final loyalty test. Hello? Hey babe, finished packing. Um, everything's in boxes. I just wanted to make sure that you're still coming to help me to move today. Yeah, yeah, just, um, I'm gonna grab a quick bite. So I'll be there in about maybe 40-ish minutes. How does that sound? Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. I have to go help my mom today, so I won't be here, but if everything's packed. You just need to help her move the stuff to the U-Haul. Okay, easy. AJ doesn't really know Amanda like that, so Katie was able to convince him that Amanda was the one that lived in this apartment. She also managed to convince him to help remove the remainder of our stuff into this U-Haul. Okay, now I know what it looks like, but no, we did not come up with this plan in order to get some free labor, okay? We genuinely had to move out, and this was the only plan that we had the ability to pull off. Like, we didn't even set up our actual live feed that we'd normally use. We had to run with an iPhone on FaceTime. But the point is, we do not condone free labor. Only sometimes and only on the weekends. You don't have to tell them you're taking everything. You can tell them that you're leaving the air mattress behind. You can mm -hmm. tell them that you're leaving that table behind because it's not yours. Obviously, okay. though, it's because the camera's there. Yeah. You know? So with everything set up and ready to go, all that was left to do was wait for AJ to arrive. Hey, are you here? Yeah, yeah, I'm downstairs by the elevator. Okay, I'm on my way. AJ had arrived to provide free labor. I, I, I mean, to help Amanda move, which meant that her plan was officially in motion. So as you know, AJ is gonna help Amanda move all of our stuff into the U-Haul. All right, so it's just really the boxes in the living room. Thank you so much again for doing this. Yeah. I'm like, I've been so stressed out, so I really appreciate it. Amanda will use this time to disclose to AJ that she actually has to move out of this apartment by 3 p.m., but can't move into her new apartment until tomorrow morning. Okay, so they've begun. They've begun moving all the stuff to the garage, so we should be seeing them here pretty soon. Oh, I see them. You see them? Mm-hmm. Is that them? Yeah, that's them. Because Amanda can't move into her new place until the morning, she's gonna need somewhere to sleep, which is why she ended up renting out a hotel room for the night. As a thank you for the free labor that AJ is providing, Amanda will invite him over to her hotel room for some food and drinks. But of course, the real reason why she's inviting him over is to make her move on him. Damn, bam, they left me here all alone. I get to do whatever I want in this hotel room, which means I'm gonna get to go raid the mini bar so I can make this video super expensive for Sergio, guys. So right now, he thinks that you're not even here. He thinks that you're literally helping your mom out with something. Oh my God. I promise I'm not crazy. Yeah, you're putting him to the test. Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was so bummed that Katie had to leave. I was like, gonna invite her over to like use the jacuzzi and like. Damn, Amanda really is taking the boxes. Like. <laughs> In his head, he's probably like, well, if you're taking the boxes too, why did you need help? <laughs> 
So while AJ and Amanda finish packing the rest of our stuff, let me give a big shout out to my favorite game of all time, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a massive universe game with tons of different champions to master and a bunch of different game modes to play, such as raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. Use my QR code or the links below in order to download Raid on your phone or on your PC. Some of my favorite champions in the game are Arbiter, Jintaro, and Deliana. Deliana is one of my favorite champions because she is one of the strongest support champions in the entire game. She can heal your allies for 5% of their max HP for each block buff that gets placed. And there's a ton happening in Raid this month. Five new champions are coming to the game, they're overhauling the champion vault, and they're dropping new skins for everyone's favorite dwarf, Trunda. Now by using my link or scanning my QR code, you can get a free starter pack worth almost $30. You'll also get a free champion, Virgies, and other cool in-game loot. All you gotta do is click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. But okay, back to the video. So I'm super excited to like take advantage of this suite. It's like, it's got like a living room and like, like the bathroom has like a jacuzzi in it. Like it's crazy. You definitely should come over after. I wonder what he's thinking in his head right now. Like, wait, is this all her things? Is this all she like, owns? <laughs> is this really all she owns and Is she really gonna leave it a U-Haul overnight, girl? AJ and Amanda spent another half hour packing the rest of our stuff into the U-Haul. They made some small talk and got to know each other a little better. Did they already take out the rug? I didn't even see that. Yeah, they did. They did? Yeah. Damn. Why did they take the rug out? <laughs> I feel so bad that like you drove all the way out here to help me. Um, maybe I can like get you something to eat before you go or... Party. Yeah, but like if we go back to the suite, like we can order room service and like a drink. We definitely have margaritas, so yeah. Spicy margarita. As planned, Amanda managed to convince AJ to share a drink with her back at her hotel room. You so ready for that margarita? Yeah. <laughs> I can text you the hotel address and then you can meet me there and just I'll call you when I'm there. Sounds like a plan. Just gonna make sure we didn't miss anything. Hey, we are on our way, so we'll see you soon. Okay. Okay, cool. Alrighty, ready for this? Yes. All right, let's make our way to the hotel. We were now in a race to beat Amanda and AJ to the hotel. To ensure that they didn't beat us there, we told Amanda to stop by the store for some alcohol and some food. I'm getting a little nervous. I mean, nothing's happened though, nothing's you know? Nothing's happened. He did say yes to go back to the hotel very quickly. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I will never turn down free food and I drinks. <laughs> free food and drinks, I mean, I'm there. We'll see, Maybe uh, hopefully that's the only reason why. <laughs> Imagine she gets like drink to the point where it, it gets too real. It's too like, real, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna have to run in there and be like, Amanda, <laughs> down girl. <laughs> So as I'm sure you all know, our friend Anthony has been at the hotel room this entire time. He set up the hidden cameras and was ready to provide us with a live feed. No, we for sure beat them here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no way they got here before us. Let me uh, let me set this live feed up real quick and let me know if you can see it. Okay, ooh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 that's good, that's good. That's where we want them to land right there, so. Okay. Okay, cool, no, that works, that works. Honestly, that works, yeah. So just make sure like all the other cameras are gonna be recording then, and then just make your way over here. With everything set up and ready to go, all we had to do now was wait for Amanda and AJ to arrive. Unfortunately, we didn't follow them, so we didn't know when they would be here or where they would park, but eventually, they just walked into the room. This is way nicer than I thought it would be. Okay, they've arrived. Oh my God. Okay, they've arrived. <laughs> okay, judgment day. Dang. Let's check it out what else is in here. So right now she's just giving him a tour of the suite. This is the <gasps> dumbest thing we've ever done. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing you said? Yes. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> I don't want to know. I mean, if you want, we could we could end this no, right no, here. No, 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 no. <laughs> we've gotten this far. <laughs> I cannot wait to sleep on that bed after sleeping on an air mattress for two nights. Like, it's gonna be so nice. If you want to take a seat, we got all these truly margaritas. Oh, I'm down for that. Hold on. Let's do it. Oh, they got their drinks. <laughs> what did they get? Looks like a pack. Know. This is no party, but AJ is once again by himself with Amanda in a hotel room with a drink in his hand. I know it sounds cynical, but if he were going to cheat, this would be the perfect opportunity for him to do so, especially since Amanda would be making the first move. I like definitely needed a drink after all of that. I've been so stressed out with this moving stuff. I'm like, like literally going crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't move too long ago, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's good to unwind after. after oh my gosh, absolutely! Like, like not like your typical spicy margarita, but like any yeah, thoughts? Yeah, not a margarita, and, but. Will it do? Uh, Is it gonna get the job done? Uh, I can work with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. At least you're not sitting on the same couch. 
There's some distance there. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> So you're not really doing anything for the rest of the night? I have no plans tonight, actually. Okay, yeah. so we, we're basically free to drink for the rest of the night. I'm... That's what I'm hearing. And there's a lot of cool places in the hotel that we can check out, too. Like what? I think, like, they have a pool or, like, a hot tub. I'm sure I have a swimsuit in one of the boxes, and, um... I don't have anything on me right now except underwear. <laughs> well, we might just have to make do. Maybe after a few more fake margaritas. Yeah. Fake margaritas, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now, I know, I know, I need to catch up. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Uh, don't pace yourself. Well, at least <laughs> have some fun. Oh, damn, they are chugging. Why are they chugging? <laughs> oh my god. Isn't this a casual hangout? I'm so confused. Amanda and AJ continue to drink the alcohol like it's water. Okay, I mean, technically, these kind of are like water, but they get the job done. After some more small talk though, and some more alcohol, Amanda finally decides to make her move. Did you want to like stay the night here if you if we kept drinking or? Oh, uh, that's, that's. I mean, it's such a big room. Like, why? There's plenty of space, and like, I mean, the bed is super big, even too. So like, <laughs> like if we're gonna drink, like we might as well just like stay here. Like, it's a really big bed in there. We can just both like stay in there. The same bed. This is not like this is not like super comfortable, and you helped me move all day. So like, we just supposed to stay in there. Why would he spend the night there? He could always just Uber home too. I don't know about the same bed. I mean, it's a big, it's a big room. I'll, I'll yeah, but like couch. this isn't that comfortable. So like, you wouldn't want to just like spend the night with me. Want me to spend the night with you? I mean, Katie's not here. <laughs> Oh man, so Amanda has made her move. To be honest guys, a part of me feels like she laid it on too thick. Like I feel like she could have been a little bit smoother with it, but then the other part of me thinks, yo, she did a good job. It was better that she was so straight up. And yeah, regardless though, what's done is done. AJ now has a decision to make. Um, so. <laughs> I, I don't know if um, I, don't, I don't know if that's gonna work. Okay. I felt very nauseous there for a second. Let's see if this continues though. I mean, like, I just didn't want you to be, like, uncomfortable out here, and, like, we already started drinking, and, like... I can take the bed, and you can take the couch. <laughs> I can always take the bed, you take the couch. I just, you know, I feel like we've been, like, vibing today a little bit, and, like... You think I've been... Do you think this is something serious? You think no. this is something, something's happening between us or something like that? No, I'm just offering for you to stay. Like, we started drinking, we've just been hanging out. I'll stay, just... I'm just not gonna sleep in the same bed as you. Yeah, no, I get it. I mean, I wouldn't tell her if anything happened, but like... Okay. I think she's gonna keep going. So, so far, AJ is off to a great start. He's turned down Amanda's initial request, but the question is, will this continue as Amanda keeps insisting? Or will AJ end up changing his mind? I mean, like, I just feel like there's definitely, like, been something here, like, I mean, last time we went out, like, you were definitely flirting with me when we were all drinking together. And what sign did I give you that we were flirting? We were How could you possibly think that I was flirting with you? We were just flirting. Like, we were totally flirting. And so I just, like, <laughs> thought maybe, like, something was here or, like, maybe you wanted to stay. I think I'll put my drink down. I think I'm done drinking for a little bit. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, whatever. I think I'm giving you the wrong vibe right now. Okay. Okay, I mean, we were just yeah. hanging out and like having a good time. No, we're hanging out. We're, we're having a good time, you know? We're being friendly. Keyword friendly there. <laughs> I don't, I mean, if I gave you the vibe that I was interested in you sexually or romantically or anything like that, it's not what I was, that's not what I was coming for. Oh. He's like doing really good. Okay, so the other night you weren't flirting with me? I like totally thought you were just flirting with me. Why? <laughs> Are you just like super friendly? Like that friendly with like everybody? Well, I'm not a dick. I mean, you're that friendly with like- I'll talk to you. Other girls? <laughs> because I touched your arm maybe? Maybe because I- I'm just saying that I thought you were flirting, that's all. No, I was not flirting with you. I'll, I'll say that right now. Okay. I was just being friendly. I know you're Katie's best friend. Gotcha. Also, the main reason being is that I'm, I'm not a dick, so... Right. I mean, you get it, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Okay. I didn't mean to make anything weird. I'm just, you know, just thought there was, like, a vibe between us, and, like, maybe I totally misread it, but, um... 
I definitely like want the best for Katie and like I want us to all be able to hang out and stuff. So you and Katie never had any fallouts? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, okay. You guys are good friends? Yeah, yeah, we're best friends. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, I just like misread things, I guess. Yeah, kind of missed it there by like a mile. <laughs> oh, oh my god! This went downhill so quickly. I just thought you guys were like casual or whatever, so like, I, like I'm sorry, I didn't want to make things like weird between us. I mean, I respect that you're with Katie and everything, but like if you weren't with Katie, like, do you think like something would have happened between us or like? <laughs> Maybe, I mean, I, I don't know. I really couldn't tell you that. There's a lot of factors that play into it, but... Yeah. I wasn't with her if I met you before, maybe, but... Cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Ah, so at last, to the real reason this test even happened. You see, Amanda is also in love with AJ and was heartbroken that he chose to be with her best friend instead of her. I'm just kidding. I don't mean to put Amanda on blast like that. I'm sure she was just talking out her butt to keep this awkward conversation going. I just thought it was funny that she sounded kind of hurt here. <laughs> Poor Amanda, look at Poor her. Oh. She is so uncomfortable right now. You can see she can't even look at him. This is so bad. I'm sorry for making it like awkward or weird between us. Like I want us all to be able to hang out and stuff. And like, I am like, like hoping to get to know you like, cause you're dating my friend and yeah. We'll, we'll move on. Okay. okay, cool. So we're good? This is so awkward. You can like feel the tension. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I gotta go take a piss. So I'll be back. Oh, my oh God, Tammy he's got up. up. Is he using the restroom or something? Even though, like, I know this is a test, like, this feels so fucked up right now. Like, that was so weird. I feel like such a bad friend, even though I know it's fake. I'm so sorry, Amanda. I'm so sorry, Katie. Why the heck are we whispering? She was a homie for doing this. <laughs> Honestly, though, for what real. What other friend would do this for me? And she got full ass rejected. Like, rejected. <laughs> but yeah. now I'm scared he's going to break up with me. Was he finds out how crazy I am? <laughs> but now, like, do we tell him? That's completely up to you. And that's what I was going to ask you. Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to go upstairs and tell him that this entire Not thing was right all a test? Not right now. Not right now. I'm gonna text him. You're gonna text him? Yeah, I'll text him and be like, hey, you wanna hang out? Maybe I can pick you up and like get food. Okay. And then that way he won't have to drive and. Okay, I mean, it's completely up to you, like whatever it is that you wanna We've do. We've gotta get him out of here, but I don't wanna tell him yet. So you don't wanna go upstairs and tell him that no, this entire thing was No, no, that would make it so much worse. Okay, okay. It's a nice bathroom, right? It's okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it is so awkward. You can... He can't even sit down. Like, yeah, see, I have to tell him because this can't be like my life for the next <laughs> foreseeable future. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Can you drive right now or? Oh, he's leaving. I mean, you can always actually like sleep on the couch and like I can sleep in the bed and I oh, close no, the door no. and. So you're, you're fine. Thank you though for, for inviting me over. And... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you so much for helping me move. I did not expect any of this. Like, I'm so surprised right now. <laughs> Good for him though, I knew we had to get out of there. He could just Wow. Tell. So with that, our test has officially concluded. Now I will say this, the conspiracy theorist inside of me is a little skeptical as to why exactly AJ said no. However, we do gotta give credit where credit's due. He did pass this test and he did turn down Amanda and shut down any rumors that he was interested in her. But the conspiracy theorist inside of me wants to jump out. <sighs> this has been very enlightening. Okay. And he made me feel really good about where we're going. How do you think he'll react when you do end up telling him like, hey, this was all a test, it wasn't real? He could be like, oh, that's why it was so fucking awkward. Or he could be like, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, break up with me. So that's my only fear. How should I approach this conversation in your expert opinion? Oh, shoot, I'm no expert. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so maybe I think the ones I tell him. Oh. He's calling you? He's calling me, do I answer it? Answer it. <laughs> okay, shh, you guys are not here. Hey. Hey, uh, are you still with your mom or are you free? No, I'm done, I'm free, what's up? I just got done hanging out with, with Amanda. Oh yeah, how did how'd the move go? Well, the move was fine. Okay. But, but um, yeah, let's, let's talk a little bit, so. Okay, is everything okay? Um, she hit on me. 
Oh, what do, what do you mean? What happened? We had a few drinks. All right, so this was pretty crazy because the last thing we expected was for AJ to call up Katie and tell her everything that just happened. I'm so sorry that happened. Wow, um, I will definitely talk to her. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm fine. She didn't like freaking violate me or anything. She just made it very weird. <laughs> do you want to meet up or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's meet up. I'll share my location with you. Okay, I'll, I'll see you soon then. Okay, okay bye. bye. Oh my God. I was so uncomfortable. I thought you were gonna tell him over the phone right now. I think I have to tell him tonight. You're gonna tell him tonight? Yeah. Okay, he wants to take you right now? Yeah. So you can go? Okay. We'll oh take my God. You. We'll take you right now then. All right, I can't hold it in anymore. I'm just gonna say it. I think AJ caught on. Don't get me wrong. Gotta give credit where credit's due. He passed this test, but I think he caught on to the fact that he was being filmed or to the fact that Katie and Amanda were working together. I don't know, like that phone call didn't even help either. You know, like it was just, it just seemed too virtuous. Like what kind of a guy calls up his girlfriend after being hit on and just comes clean like 10 minutes later? Like, I feel like that's a conversation that you have later on down the line or you maybe you just don't bring it up at all. Or maybe AJ is a really, really good guy and I just have trust issues. Or maybe I'm just salty that this test failed. There's another conspiracy theory for you. We gotta give credit where credit's due. But I'm just saying, just to... I know, so Shai, you should've used random girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to We gotta to do it the... again. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thought. Here I am being so grateful for him. <laughs> and here you are like, he's a liar. <laughs> he's gotta be lying.